Top of the morning, evening, night, or day, ladies and gentlemen. This is me here today on behalf of Well Prepared Man. And in today's My Bike Vintage Collection video, I am going to introduce the first bicycle I ever bought without an engine. This for me was a turning point in the way I thought because up until this point, I've been buying vehicles that had an engine, a small engine, and pedals because for starters, they consume way less petrol than normal motorcycles. And I always thought that was really cool because I always wanted to be more self-sufficient. And I thought that if petrol stations weren't around, people would have to keep gas and only these vehicles would be used in those scenarios. So I thought, okay, let's start here. But then when I rode this bicycle and I found out how comfortable it was, it changed the way I thought and I thought, do you know what? I really like bicycles. I, I'm i gonna start learning more about them and finding out more about their history. And this is the bicycle that changed my perspective in that sense. So today we're gonna talk about the Dutch bicycle. I don't really know the brand. I call it the Commodore because it's really comfy. Anyway, this bike is waiting for us in the backyard. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So this is the bike, ladies and gentlemen. It's a Dutch bike. I don't really know the brand, but I call it the Commodore. It's uh, quite comfortable and uh, comfort in Portuguese is Comodo. So Commodore is just a, a good nickname that I found for the bike. Anyway, this bike, I bought it for 95 euros from a guy that needed selling it and in my opinion that's when you make the best deals when people need to sell stuff not when they want to when they need it personally I think this is a 500 euro bike but I bought it at 95 and that for me is a great entry point if I think of anything as an investment I want to buy it at the lowest price possible and then I'm just gonna wait it out. When it comes to the construction of this bike, because some of you guys are actually here because of that, this is a very beautiful bike and I'm gonna give you some close-ups as we go along. As you can see, the frame is taller than usual. Normally, bike frames are not this tall. They finish usually something like here and that's that. So this bike is a little bit taller than usual. Over here in the front, we have a connection for the lights, which Basically, they're powered inside the hub, which means you don't have to put a lot of effort into powering your lights like you used to back in the day with a dynamo. And at the moment, I don't actually have a light on the bicycle, which is a little bit of a shame. But this is the beauty of life. You always have more shit to do. The handlebars are very cool in my opinion. They're very Dutch and in Portugal, that's really hard to find. So, for me, this is very unique. It might not be for people in Holland, but for me, like I said, it's very aesthetically pleasing to look at. It comes with a bell. And uh, I did swap the gears and I put Sterny Archer in here because I really like this brand. Rallies are amazing bicycles that used to be built in Nottingham, England, a place where I actually used to live. And that is the last piece missing in my collection. So I think I'll stop collecting bicycles once I have a rally. And essentially I put those gears in there because the start is I couldn't find the original brand because I don't know <laughs> what brand this is. And secondly, I really like Sturmy Archer. As you can see here, this bike has got three gears and it's an internal hub system, which I've really enjoyed because it's very low maintenance. You adjust it here by bringing this screw in or outwards, or you can adjust it here by pulling the cable in or out. And that's pretty much the only adjustments I've had to do to this bike in order to have it running in perfect condition. Having shown you this, I really prefer internal hub gears to the railers because I think the riding experience is smoother, there's less maintenance, and overall, it just looks more sophisticated. 
at least for me. I swapped the seat of this bicycle. It came with a sport seat, and I think this seat matched the overall vibe of the bike a little bit better. Over here, we've got something really interesting, which is a wheel lock, which it's things Dutch people think of that I think are amazing. So yeah, I really like this feature. It basically works like this, guys. And now you take out the key and you got a lock on your bike, always. But people can still pick up your bike. So I got this lock here too. I really like the painting, look at this. It's got these gold stripes which really match the black. I also changed the presence light because the one that came with the bike was broken. It's just a very well-built bicycle. Probably the most comfortable bike that I have. We've got a front brake and then for the back brake we've got a coaster brake. So essentially you have to pedal backwards in order to brake the back wheel which it's really freaking cool. I love this feature. It just makes the handlebars very clean for starters because you don't have a brake here. And when it comes to the functionality, I think it's very intuitive. I actually find myself pedaling backwards on other bikes that don't have coaster brakes and it's actually quite annoying sometimes. And that pretty much brings us to the very end of today's bike video. Thank you for sticking with me up until the end and thank you for showing us how beautiful you are. We're gonna go back to the studio, guys. For starters, let me just say, I think bicycles were an amazing invention because they allow men to commute without the use of animals or engines. And that for me means true independence. And I really like vintage bicycles especially because they've stood the test of time and they're really cool looking. The majority of them have they're not just a tool, they're beautiful tools. That's what I'm trying to say here. So thank you very much for sticking with me up until the end. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'm gonna love you and leave you to enjoy the rest of an amazing day. This is your boy, Logan, out. Peace.